we have a brand new Pokemon Go update. But how does the catch bonus work? Alright guys, so with this new update we got a catch bonus, so trainers can earn a catch bonus for a Pokemon type as they catch more of a specific type. We also now have an updated gym training system, so now you can actually train with 6 Pokemon at a friendly gym. The CP of the Pokemon you are battling may be temporarily adjusted lower for your training session depending on your level and depending on the CP of your Pokemon, which is really handy for newcomers, people who are starting out and can't get onto those gyms. In my area all the gyms are super super competitive and normally the lowest CP Pokemon is around 2000 so this is really hard for early starters or newcomers so uh, this is a good system I guess. We also got an update to the egg and incubator screens so these will periodically update the distance walked without the trainer needing to close and reopen the screen which was kind of annoying as well so again just a bit of a bug fix. They also fixed some audio issues. They decreased the evolution animation time which is handy because that means that now people can drop a lucky egg and have more time to evolve Pokemon and then there were some minor fixes as well. So how does this catch bonus work? Now previously with the achievement badges they were just a visual representation they didn't actually go towards anything at all but now gaining achievements actually has a purpose. The medals that we unlock either bronze, silver or gold will actually increase the chance of catching that specific type of Pokemon. So there's either a plus one catch bonus, a plus two or a plus three depending on if it's a bronze, silver or or gold achievement and to achieve these you either need to get 10 Pokemon, 50 Pokemon or 200 Pokemon respectively. So 200 Pokemon will be the gold achievement. This will make it easier to catch Pokemon that you previously have had issues with. So for example if you have a plus three flying type catch bonus this will mean that it will be more likely for you to catch a Charizard, Aerodactyl or a Farfetch'd. When we encounter Pokemon as well when we are trying to catch them we will also have an icon at the top of the screen to detail what type of Pokemon it is. It will appear for a few seconds I believe, maybe a second and a half to two seconds and then it will slowly fade away. So I guess at that point that gives you an opportunity to see what type of Pokemon it is and if it has multiple types then it will display both of them at the top as well. It is really cool that now you can use six Pokemon to battle at friendly gyms. This does allow the newcomers to actually come in and add a little bit of input to the gym battles which is really handy. I signed into another account to see how well it actually manipulated the CP and it did adjust it from a 2000 down to about a 600 CP Pokemon. On. So this means that it's actually manageable now. It's still relatively hard, but it is manageable for the lower level trainers. So a really great update there um, for newcomers and for people who are, I guess, uh, playing the game but not as hard as some of the other people. So that's a really cool system. Uh, the egg and incubator screens have been updated, which I really liked. They were a lot more responsive. They've also changed the text color to a blue, so now you can tell how far you have walked, which is very nice as well. They have also decreased the evolution time, which I couldn't actually know notice any difference. They may be shaved like half a second or a second off so that means that you will be able to pump more evolutions out with a lucky egg. It is still a grinding process to evolve Pokemon that you've already seen a hundred times already but it is a nice thing that they have decreased the evolution time. That does mean that hardcore players can uh, I guess pump this a little more so I feel like this update here it benefits two people. It benefits the hardcore people who are farming Pokemon. Uh, that bonus is now going to make it a little bit more enjoyable to catch Pokemon because they're not going to constantly run on you. Uh, very nice update there. And then you've got the gym training which is great for newcomers, the decreased animation time uh, which is good I guess for everyone and a few other fixes here and there. So overall a pretty decent update. Nothing crazy again but something that I am excited about and as a hardcore player this is a pretty good thing. So great job Pokemon Go. Uh, really cool little update here. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching though. Have a splendid day and peace out.